by sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous strains Gloria in excelsis It was not a brief visit to the home of Elizabeth and Zechariah. Mary stayed there for three months, the remainder of Elizabeth's pregnancy. She may have been there to hold baby John when he was only a few hours old. There is no way Mary could have known then that John would turn out to be such an unusual man. He left home at adulthood and lived in the desert, part of his personal journey to especially connect with God and to prepare him to become one of Israel's greatest prophets. As the couple from Nazareth was nearing their destination, Bethlehem, just a few miles south of Jerusalem, Mary had to know that the baby would be born very soon. Calculating from when her period stopped, Mary would figure it was about time she returned home from visiting Elizabeth that she became pregnant. The facts had been clear. She was pregnant, and she was still a virgin. Her emotions ranged from awe to embarrassment. How had God done what he had never done before? How did she explain this to her family and friends and to Joseph? The obvious assumption by everyone would be that she'd been unfaithful to him and had had an affair with some man during her three-month journey to visit Elizabeth. The only explanation she could give was what Gabriel had told her, that the Holy Spirit of God performed some inexplicable miracle inside her uterus producing an unprecedented and clearly supernatural pregnancy. I hope you have a blessed weekend ahead. And next week, we will pick up this story again and feature the carol, Silent Night.